Hi, I'm Cosmo Starwin. I'm a program manager on the high availability and storage team at Microsoft. Let's take a look at Storage Spaces Direct, one of the exciting new features coming in Windows Server 2016. Spaces Direct is software-defined, shared nothing storage. That's a mouthful. So let's look at a demo to see what this means. We're going to start with just three industry standard servers with internal drives. I want to emphasize that there is no shared storage here. There are no fancy cables. It's just Ethernet connecting three servers. And if I remote desktop into one of those machines, I can actually enumerate the physical disks in that machine and see that there are six of them, the four hard drives and two flash devices. That's it, just local drives. First, let's make a cluster out of these three servers. This will allow them to work together to provide things like high availability. We'll run the new cluster command, listing off those three nodes, and you'll see it just takes a moment to run. We'll form the cluster, and there we have our cluster called demo. And if we enumerate the nodes in this cluster, you'll see that there are three of them. There they are, one, two, three. Great. This is where the magic really starts. Storage Spaces Direct is going to take the internal drives from these servers and create a software-defined pool of storage that is accessible to all of the machines. This pool will have cache, tiers, resiliency, erasure coding across columns, all the things you would expect out of a high-end storage solution configured automatically. To do this, we're going to run the enable cluster storage spaces direct command. This can take a short time to run. We'll click yes and let it go. And just like that, we've enabled storage spaces direct. And if we take a look at the storage pool, we now see all of the drives from all three nodes. And now we're ready to create volumes into which we can put whatever data we want. To do that, we'll run the new volume command. Here I'll run it in a loop just to create a bunch of them. You'll see how quickly this goes. So there I've created one, two volumes. There's a third one. Now something to note here is that these volumes are running the cluster shared volume file system. This means that the volumes will look to each node like they're mounted locally. More than that, these volumes have another interesting property. They have built-in fault tolerance, so that if drives fail, or even if an entire node goes offline, all data stays online and accessible. This means Storage Spaces Direct works great as a scale-out file server or in a hyper-converged configuration where virtual machines sit directly on top of the volumes. And if we need to scale out, all we have to do is add another node to the cluster. We can do that by running the add cluster node command. The node will take a moment to join, and then we can run the get cluster node command to see that indeed we now have a fourth node in our cluster. And if we go very quickly, we can enumerate the physical disks which are not yet in a pool and see the drives that are in this node we just added. However, over time, without any additional steps, Storage Spaces Direct will absorb those new drives and redistribute the volumes to take maximum advantage of all of the available storage. And this entire process of starting with just regular servers, creating a cluster, forming a pool of software-defined shared storage, creating volumes, and then scaling out took less than 15 minutes of real-world time. But Spaces Direct isn't just easy to deploy it's also fantastically performant. The storage pool will automatically use the fastest media present to provide a built-in and always-on cache. For example, here I am on a different four-node cluster. It's still just four nodes, but it's a little larger. It's got a few more devices. We can see here, there are the four nodes. And in each node, I have four NVMe SSDs and then a bunch of rotational spinning hard drive disks. This is not an all-flash cluster. I'm using an open source tool called VM Fleet to deploy no fewer than 80 virtual machines onto these four nodes. And those VMs running full tilt are getting over 1 million IOPS from these four nodes that are not even all-flash. That's not bad for a feature that is included at no additional cost in Windows Server 2016. To learn more about Spaces Direct, check out aka.ms slash spaces direct. Thanks for watching.